my work began thinking through uh, using the tools of photography, uh, maybe in sort of unconventional ways. Uh, so instead of using Photoshop as a, as a tool for sort of naturalizing or idealizing the image, I thought about it as a, as a, as a tool for grooming or correcting the image, but one that could correct the image uh, more to the relationships that I felt like I was having with the world. And the, the Photoshop part came later. I, I worked in a darkroom when I began, and then when I started using the computer, uh, I kind of initially thought about it as a sort of surrogate darkroom. And it, it took me some years to really understand that it was a tool in its own, on its own terms and that I could use it in a really different way. The work sort of starts with me trying to relate to something I'm interested in, a subject of some sort or the other, and then uh, so that starts, that relationship for me often starts by setting up the camera and trying to make a picture. Uh, and then when I get the film back, the, there's always, or there at least often is sort of uh, a sense of, of, of opportunity remaining or a sense of disappointment or a sense of something uh, that might be continued. So sometimes they're finished uh, when I see the scans, but oftentimes I, instead of, I think what a traditional photographer would do, which is cast those pictures aside that didn't quite get there, uh, it's an opportunity for me to keep going. Uh, that there's all these sort of, within all of the pictures in the show, there, um, there are kind of various levels of opacity, you know? And sometimes uh, we think about photography, or there's a kind of dominant metaphor for photography that it's, uh, it's a window, you know? It's a, there's a clear seeing there. And my work is often taken up uh, blocking that up in different ways. And so the wall uh, sort of plays with this idea of, of opacity and transparency. LA has, has really given me a lot uh, in the work, and I lived out here a couple of years, and so uh, quite literally, uh, I've, I've photographed many of LA's wares. Uh, but in the show, there's also um, uh, some other nods to LA. Uh, the, the stud wall um, is, is something that, that could, be, uh, could be referenced to, to Michael Asher's uh, very famous work, uh, the Santa Monica Museum, uh, which, which this institution uh, used to be named. Uh, the swimming pool could, you know, refer to Ruscha and David Hockney. And, you know, there, I, I feel like there, uh, there are quite a few kind of LA turns within the show. I did my graduate work at UCLA, where I got to work with Jim Welling and Kathy Opie, uh, both of whom were, were tremendous. and. Uh, I, I think that you know Jim has a real uh, penchant for experimentation that was that was really um, a very interesting thing for me to be thinking about at that time, and uh, and Kathy was tremendously supportive of the work and um, really was uh, was a was a was a great interlocutor for the for the years I was out here. I've thought about putting this show together uh, as almost like babbling, you know, as like uh, language development, you know, like uh, as, as young children are trying to figure out how to speak, they're, uh, they're kind of just sticking sounds together uh, until, until something makes sense. And in, in moments of repetition, you know, when, uh, when a sound gets made again is when you really start to get like the framework for language. And uh, I think that, that in this exhibition, that was kind of the, uh, also true, these two uh, photographs behind me are kind of the, were the, were the first pair uh, that sort of germinated the rest of the show. Uh, and I was really interested in the way that, um, that the gestures in these two pictures uh, suggested, uh, suggested each other, uh, but really came to quite different outcomes. Uh, and so, so starting with that kind of idea, um, and thinking about the, the a sort of survey of the, the, a set of moves that have happened over the last, uh, I don't know, five or six years, uh, that's kind of where the exhibition came from. Photography is just this extremely broad, flexible medium uh, that we're all using in really kind of heterogeneous ways. So I, it feels, uh, I, I, I went from feeling like, uh, like I was kind of uh, kicking against the box to really feeling like I was just uh, 
sort of uh, making propositions in this in this language that everyone was kind of thinking about and using this way.